Hey, I'm Michaela Daphne and today I'm doing a book review of Ian e. Fitch's second book in the Of The Trees series called At Wood's Edge. At Wood's Edge continues the story of Cassie in the aftermath of everything that happened in book one, um, where everybody in the town still doesn't believe that these strangers in the woods exist and she herself is pretending that they don't exist so that they don't continue to um, hound her and, and try to, to take her away into the woods as was what was happening in the first book. Um, I found this story to um, continue that heart racing, uh, hair raising, chilling vibe that the first book had, which I loved so much. Um, it reminded me of a Goosebumps story, except for a little bit of an older audience. Um, I think because it's set in a North American location and there are things like carnivals and Halloween that happen in this particular town, it really um, it makes me reminiscent of um, this nostalgic um, North American autumn feeling. Um, it makes me think of orange pumpkins and leaves being taken up in the wind and this, this vibe, um, I just feel yeah, the whole book is soaked in it, which I just love so much. It's one of my favourite um, settings to have a story in or to have any kind of, uh, you know, whether it's a movie or a book set in that kind of a, a feeling. Um, and I loved also that um, this second book had what the first book had in that it left so many questions for me to ponder at the end of it. Um, I was a little bit disappointed when I heard that there was going to be a second story um, because I had such a great experience with the first one and what I found that I liked the most about the first book in the series was that um, there were questions at the end and there were things for me to think about and it was still this kind of unsolved mystery, so to speak. Um, and so I felt like that you can't really top that because if you go into a second book that, well, the mystery will be uncovered. Um, but I didn't find that necessarily to be the case in this story. There were some answers that became um, answered as the second book went along, um, but not so much that I left the story without questions, which I really, really love. So in case you didn't notice, I really loved this story. Uh, but I do have one criticism, and it's not about the story at all. It's actually about the front cover. I just... It feels like a piece of fan fiction. <laughs> Um, so look, if you're looking for a really bone-chilling, creepy story with lots of questions to be pondered at the end, don't judge a book by its cover. This one is a really good one. So until next time, see ya.